Hello, 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 hello everybody and welcome back to SUVation and to this video in which I'm going to be explaining what all the lights in the Boeing 737-800 do and when to use them. So, we are right here at Honolulu International. Let me go ahead and turn the volume down a little bit here. Perfect. And I'm going to show you what the lights do. So. You can divide the lights into two sections, the lights to see and the lights to be seen. So the lights to see are these ones and the lights to be seen are these ones. So let's go ahead and go through them. First group of lights are the landing lights. They consist of four switches right here, each one corresponding to a light in the exterior of the aircraft which is very powerful and illuminates to the front of it. As you can see, I've turned them all on, and you can see how we got four lights there, two on the wings and two on the belly of the aircraft. They are called the landing lights, and they are used whenever the aircraft is cleared for takeoff, and it's below 10,000 feet of altitude in respect to the airport it, ta it took off from. So, if we are right here on the runway, and we haven't been cleared for takeoff, then those lights are not on. Once we're cleared for takeoff, they go on, and when we pass 10,000 feet above the field elevation, so above the airport we departed from, they go off. Then, when we are descending, when we pass below 10,000 feet above field elevation of the airport we're landing at, they again go on, and then they go off when we vacate the runway that of the airport we landed at. So those are the landing lights, they are very powerful. Next group of lights are the runway turn of lights. These lights are close to the landing lights. They are in the wings, as you can see, but they are not as powerful as the landing lights. These lights, during daytime, have the exact same use as landing lights, but during nighttime, they are also used to taxi, as they illuminate at a 45 degree angle to the sides. Next group of lights are the taxi lights. This light has three positions, off, dim, and on. This light, of course, is used whenever you are taxiing, but also they come on together with the landing lights when you pass below 10,000 feet. So that by the time you vacate the runway, you don't have to turn it on, but you already have it on. The off position, well, it's off. The dim position, it's on, but just a little bit, a bit bright, while the on position is very, very bright. That's all there is to it. In case you are getting close to the gate and you don't want to blind someone, you put the taxi light into dim. The rest of the time it's off unless you're taxiing. And then we go to the lights that are used to be seen. So we have first the logo light. This light, well, is very intuitive, illuminates the logo of the aircraft right here in the tail, as you can see. It consists of two lights located on the horizontal stabilizer, and that light is used whenever you are below 10,000 feet of altitude. That's all there is to it. If you're at the gate, if you're taxing, if you're taking off, the light's always on. You might think that is to promote, prom promote the airline, and well, it is a little bit for that, but the main use is to see which aircraft is that one. As you can, as you may have noticed, the call signs refer to the airline. When you say like American 542 or KLM 546, and most airlines have their airline logo in the tail just to not say everyone every airline I think every airline actually so that helps you see which airline it's that aircraft from now it's not just to promote hey fly with American no then we go to these lights which have three positions they are called the position strobe and steady lights the first position is well off it's in the middle it does not illuminate anything the second position is the steady lights. Those lights are some green on the left wing, sorry, red on the left wing and green on the right wing. And on the rear part of the wing, they are white on both of them. Those lights are used to identify where the aircraft is pointing. So if you look at it from above and you see a right green light and a left red light, it means the aircraft is pointing to the north or well to the front part well if you see it like this it means to the opposite for example 
If you were to look at the aircraft from this position and you couldn't notice that you are looking at front of it because maybe it's too dark, you can identify the aircraft's position by using the position lights. So if you see the green one on the left side, it's because the aircraft is pointing towards you. Well, if you see the green one on the right side, as you can see here, you will never see that because the white lights are in the rear part. That's something interesting. So if you see two whites, it's because the aircraft is pointing to the same point where you are pointing. Okay, so those are the steady lights. They are used whenever the aircraft is electrically powered. So those lights are the ones that are used the most of the time. You would use them in the gate, while taxiing, while airborne, all the way till 41,000 feet, 43, 45, they are always on until you power out the aircraft. Next group of lights are the anti-collision lights. Those lights consist of only one switch with two positions off and on and that light is this green fla sorry this red flashing light in the top of the fuselage and in the bottom of the fuselage it is used to indicate ground personnel hey get away from this or any other thing that's near the aircraft either if the aircraft is moving or if the aircraft engines are started this light has to come on Example, you are a ground manager of any system, you are working in the aircraft and suddenly you see this light coming on. You must immediately get away from it because maybe it's just about to be taxi or towed or maybe it's just going to stay in the position but it's going to turn on its engines. So that light is very important for that. It's usually turned on once you have received your pushback clearance because it means that the aircraft is about to push, it's about to start engines, it's about to move, so get away. Question, if I had the engines off but the aircraft was being towed to the gate, would this light come on? Yes, because the aircraft is moving even if the engines are not running. So that's what the anti-collision light is used for. It's often called anti-collision beacon or beacon light or anti-collision light, but that's its formal name, anti-collision light. Next light is the wing light. It has two positions, off or on. It's located on the fuselage and brights right here. It illuminates the leading edge of the wing and the engine cooling. What is this light used for? It has two purposes. First one is that in case of an emergency, that light is already turned on and when people evacuate the aircraft via these emergency exits, they can see. If this light wasn't turned on, maybe the pilot, because of this stress, could forget to turn on it while evacuating. So that's why it keeps on. Second use is if maybe there is a suspicious suspect sorry, of ice in the wing leading edge, a flight attendant or the same pilots can look at the window and by that light illuminate. It's also used when de-icing at night, so it, it, it has very good purposes. It's turned on whenever the aircraft is below 10,000 feet. That's all there is to it. So if it is in the gate, if it is taxiing, if it is taking off or if it's landing, as long as it is below 10,000 feet, that light comes on. As you can see, most lights are related with 10,000 feet because it's like a standard altitude in which you can, you are as low as to some, you are as low, sorry, as for some aircraft to actually be able to see you, but you're also not that low. So it's like a middle altitude. If you are too high, then it makes no sense to have it on. Well, of course, if you are cruising and you have and you think that there may be ice forming on your wing, you can always turn it on. Next slide and the last one is the wheel wheel light. This light is not simulated in X plane, but it's right here on the landing gear and illuminates that the landing gear wheel bay. It is used for the pilots when they are doing their walk around at night or when the aircraft is going under maintenance. That light would usually never be on if you are flying on daytime and the aircraft is not receiving any kind of maintenance. But if it's at night when the captain goes down to do his walk around, then that light, that light comes on. For simulation purposes, as you cannot do a walk around, that light is never turned on. 
except when you're at the gate. When you're at the gate, even if you're not doing the walk around, it's a good habit to have it on as there may be ground personnel walking in the aircraft and that makes the visibility a bit better. So let me go ahead and turn on all of those lights. And you can see how a fully lighted aircraft looks like. You can see we have the beacon, the landing lights, the wing lights, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you all next time. Well, first let me take a screenshot here. And bye bye.